Collectibles, and today we're looking at Pirate Pass special for May the 4th. Happy May the 4th, everyone. Um, we're just here. We're going to chill out. We're going to look at every single figure released by uh, uh, Hot Toys, S Sideshow, whatever. We're going to try to look at as many as we can because there, there was popping. I mean, that's what's popping going on right now. It's, it's, it's May the 4th. So we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, I want to bring in some other ones. XM Studios. Magnificent pieces here. Um, but first, we got to go over some stuff. So we're going to go over uh, Buyer Pass. Uh, this is going to be a Buyer Pass episode for everything that dropped for May the 4th. Um, I'm going to try to get everything we can. There is some coming still. <clears throat> There's some still coming. So... Ah, grab a drink and sit down. This is gonna be a doozy. Oh, let me let me adjust a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. More of the toys. This is how it goes. So, first off, collectorzone.com. Now they're running a special uh as you know, you get easy CZ for five percent off of everything on the website, right? Sign up for their newsletter. It's down here. Subscribe to our monthly newsletter and we'll send you a ten percent off of whatever. Blah blah blah. Put your email address in, and you're going to get 10% off, 12% off codes, not just for May the 4th week, the whole month. So I'm going to put it up how to join the Cantina. Join the Cantina on inf information on how. Uh, just sign in right there. Uh, check your email, and you'll get codes. My back. And you'll get codes. And those codes work 10 to 12% off of Star Wars stuff, uh, anything on the store, and, and so forth. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look at these... Um, what looks to me, we're going to go ahead and go over these, uh, I guess you would call them statues. Uh, we're, I'm trying to fixate myself here. Um, we got some statues going on right now. Now this is, this is 585. Wow. Okay. 585. So this is the premium format Ahsoka figure, a statue by Sideshow Collectibles. Um... We're going to be jumping here. This is your price shipped and taxed out the door. Um, so that's the info right there. Uh, Ahsoka Tano. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Get, get on to the uh, figures. But this statue, you know, although I love Star Wars and some statues get me, this one doesn't grab my nuts. I don't think this one grabs my nuts. We're going to go over some of these pretty quick. Um, these are just some previews as well as buyer passes. I'm not going to do a buyer pass on this one. I'm not too into statues. I'm kind of biased. So, with that being said, that's going to be up to you. Um, I mean, Ahsoka Tano. This thing looks amazing. I mean, it looks amazing. It's not something I'd pick up for myself. The base is kind of uh, belittled. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It's one four scale. That's good. Because I hate that they did the Mythos line on one fifth scale. Which makes no sense. Um, it makes no sense. Um, you rock. So that's Ahsoka Tano. Gonna go over that later or never again. Anyway, what we really want to see here is Echo. I mean, a lot of people are really wanting to see Echo. Uh, where are you on this page? Here we go. Echo is 324 out the door. Shipped, taxed. Now, um, this... We don't know much about the character on the inside because of Bad Batch just released. I haven't seen the show yet. Uh, it just came out last night at 3 a.m. So here we have Echo. Now, Echo is beautiful. Look at this. I didn't see this coming from Hot Toys, really. I didn't see... I, what I expected was some troopers, but I didn't expect Bad Batch to be let loose. Full head sculpts, full out, blown. Like Me and Nate was talking about this. Me and Nate was saying, you know what, it, it might be, I thought it, they were going to do this. I thought they were going to do this, but it was likely that they weren't because of the amount of fidelity they have to go into. I don't even know what that word means. And they have to really bake these things in, like head sculpts, accessories, these things. <clears throat> these things are going to be hefty. And I can't wait to see that one with the skull on his face. I don't even know the whole Clone Force's name, um, but... Um, here we have him without his arm. He, he it comes with a bunch of accessories. Echo just looks amazing. And Hot Toys isn't doing their classic weathering. You'll see that in the squad uh, Stormtrooper uh, Commander. They're not doing their classic 
uh, weathering, which I'm not seeing anymore. They're doing more detailed scratches, uh, worn out armor and, and stuff like that. It's not that same, like, everybody's pretty familiar with the uh, Sand Trooper weathering from A New Hope that we got. That used to be um, the weathering that just basically overwashed everything and it looks doesn't look too differentiated. This one, on the other hand, like these weathering, the, the weathering we got on the Scout Trooper lately, that type of weathering is rising. Look at this head sculpt. A lot of people are saying it's kind of wacky and weird. This is Echo. Echo went anorexic. This guy went through hell. He had more stress than an average clone would have. And this displays it perfectly. You can see Timur Morrison in there. I'm sorry, I'm foaming out the mouth. But you can see him out. You can really see him there. I mean, um, like this is an amazing head sculpt. It's amazing. I really do hope they have ratcheted joints. Hashtag ratcheted joints. And I really hope they incorporate Roy eyes soon in the future somehow into these figures. Now, with that being said, this head sculpt is amazing. Now, it does look like his face of the helmet is like a two-part for his helmet. It collapses. And no, it wouldn't go over his head because that's just too much to go over. I don't think it would go over his head. I wouldn't think. But, I mean, it kind of... I don't think I don't think it goes over his head. It would be a mess up if they did that because of pain apps. But here we have more of accessories. It comes with that little backpack. It looks like a telecommunication center. Um, you get the rest of the squad down here. I hope they do this guy. This big beefy guy. It's like a heavy Mando. I think they can they can nail it because of heavy Mando's body structures already out there. So maybe same type. Um, so it's just bar none. This guy is definitely a buy. Also, these two pictures are the same exact pictures. Just with different backgrounds. Hot toys. Come on now. But anyway. <coughs> here we have him with his little mechanical arm. I want to see the uh, other arm. Uh, yes, the extendo arm. I call this the extendo arm. I don't really know what this is used for in particular besides touching other people from distances. Like, is this like a so social distance handshake? I don't know. Then he has his ground meat grinder, meat pounder, whatever that is. And then a bunch of other attachments as his arms. I mean, this guy ha is a freaking transformer. As we can see, all the accessories he comes with. He comes with the regular um, base, which is fine because I love these bases. They're, they're got some metal plaque and then it has a nice rectangular form. So you can, you know, do a multiple of stands. As you can see, there's all kinds of differentiations you can do with these stands because of the greatness that it comes with. Take a drink easy. You're going too fast. Green tea. Uh, I, that's all I got, green tea. It's too early for all of that. So, Echo. You know, a lot of people are talking about pricing. You grab a drink and sit down. I mean, this is going to be a show. Uh, a lot of people are uh, thinking about pricing. It's going up. You know, the pricing is too much. We're getting... Look at the amount of accessories. Look at the paint apps. I mean, look at the tailoring here that's added in. We're getting premium figures now. I, I think we're in, a, we're in an era of hot toys where we already have it. Yes, I did. Um, where we have just gotten to a point where hot toys is getting nailed spot on. I mean, these head sculpts we've been getting, I can't. I can't. I just can't with them. Now, this is going to be a weird one because, oh, not that one. Not that one. Go, go back. Okay, what happened? That something happened. But we, we've we been getting nailed head sculpts. I mean, I love the stuff we've been getting. And it's just extraordinary what we've been getting from Hot Toys. Uh, here we have in Collector's Zone, we have this at 179 shipped out the door. The Grogu six-scale figure set. It's not a figure set. Go back home. It's an accessory. Um, Hot Toys, this is an accessory. This is side crap we usually get with full-blown deluxe figures. And they're making it. A full figure set. I don't like that Hot Toys. It's it, right off the bat. It's too expensive. Um, twenty bucks. I'll pay. I'll pay you twenty bucks for it. Uh, I'm just kidding. Don't take this to heart, guys. Um, you know I complain a lot about certain things I don't like, and here is something I don't like. Um, this is more of an accessory set. I mean, what is this? A this is a stupid frog. This is. Oh, I love this though. The cat, Baby Yoda or Grogu in a in a burrito and then here he is in a Altoids box. I'm not seeing it. 
And he comes with his pram. Uh, this is the pram that Quill made him. I think this is the one that Quill made him. A lot of people are saying sneak peek at the next uh, season. I don't think so. I think this is the Quill made pram. Now, here he is with Deluxe Mando. Um, I don't know. This is not worth the money. I'm going to have to pass on this right off the bat. I'm going to have to pass. This is a little bit of an articulated figure. But, man, it's way too expensive for what it is. It's way too expensive. You can't have this much money going into something like an accessory, you know? They want to call it a collectible set. I understand you, Hot Toys. You're trying to get us. But no, just no. I hope this comes with, like, a stand you can actually, like, have them floating on. Because if not, that's kind of stupid. Here he is inside of a container. I don't remember. I think this is... I don't know where he got it or where this is from. I forgot. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm not sure if this is in a ship or what. I wish he would have came with a jar of those uh, a boba tea frog eggs. That would have been pretty cool. Now, um, a frog. He, This thing is literally going to be a piece of vinyl. And it's just like, that's cool. I like this. This is pretty cool. So that's going to be like that big. I mean, it's going to be small. It's going to be like pee-pee small. And um, not my pee-pee. It's smaller. So this cat, this is basically Star Wars cat. Um, this itself is like, where I would get it for that. But look at all the stuff that it comes with for $180. Tax and all that shit. It's a lot of stuff you're not getting. Um, this is a lot of stuff that uh, Hot Toys is shoving down our throats and not really giving us the correct stuff because I don't see a stand for this. I don't see a stand. I don't know if they're basically making you utilize something else that you got. Because I ain't got it. But anyway, the Grogu set for me is a pass. Because this is not a, this is not a collectible figure set. This is a accessory set. Um, I wish they would have uh, done some stuff for uh, May the 4th. We didn't get our Luke. Um, we still have some other ones. So never fear. Batman's here. We still have some other ones. Um, let me go over those with you. It's not up on the Collector's Own website yet, but we do have other ones like uh, like like uh, uh, the Blurg, Mandalorian and Blurg, Snow or Snowtrooper, Stormtrooper Commander. Now they're all released. We're just gonna go over pricing for now. Five fifty five. Um, this is coming out April twenty twenty two for the Blurg and Mandalorian. We're just talking about pricing and release dates right now. And then the Blurg coming out April 2022, $315. Now, this, you have to add your taxes and shipping, obviously. Um, but $315 isn't bad for the Blurg because the Blurg is a brand new thing we got coming. And $220, beautiful price. What I say about the uh, uh, basically your Stormtrooper, your average trooper. Uh, pricing, $220. Um, I got my very first figure out in 2016 from Sideshow. Uh, two nineteen was the price. Two nineteen ninety nine. They went up one penny uh, for the uh, shock trooper, and this is a stormtrooper. We're getting updated weathering, updated techniques, updated stuff on troopers, and remaining at the one penny raise. Uh, that's a high raise, isn't it? And we're also getting this at October twenty twenty one. So we're getting this soon. Not only that, we have. Some figures here. I'm going to go over it because we don't have it anywhere else. It's just on Sideshow's website as of now. When you go to view what's new, load up. You go to view what's new and you go to uh, view more, all the latest releases. What we find inside is going to be, as you can see, Quill, six scale figure. Holy 404 error Batman and Mandalorian swoop bike. Six scale figure set. Now, this Mandalorian is going to come with a Din Djarin head sculpt. I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure, this is the one. This is the way. So, that's that. And then you have Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's not popping up for some reason. But Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi by Sideshow Collectibles, as well as Anakin Skywalker by Sideshow Collectibles Clone Wars versions. The animated series, the animated look... And my, oh my, does these look perfect. Sideshow, if you do anything right, it's the animated, the more cartoony, the more animated looks is what you do right. And that's what I love from you guys. I don't really like the realistic takes you take. 
on characters because they still have an animated look, as we can see in this Anakin Mythos statue. Now, this is the Anakin Mythos statue. This Mythos line is one-fifth scale. Beautiful piece right here, but again, not for me. I don't know what it is about it lately. Asajj Ventress got me, but then after that, I don't know what it was. But this Mythos statue is looking very good. This is obviously the Skywalker General, General Skywalker um, uh, statue when he's in the Clone Wars. It's very nice. Um, we're just going to have to take a, more of a look into this head sculpt and stuff like that. But I'm, I don't know. If, uh, as of now, I'm unsure. <laughs> and for these four, we're going to have to wait. We're going to take a close look at um, uh, the quill. Little tiny side boob peek at him later on in the show. And these two guys, when it does release, expect a buyer pass. I can't do one because they're not fully dropped yet. I think we're still going to have uh, a few more figures from Hot Toys dropping as far as prototypes go. These are listed kind of like prototypes. So wait for drops. We don't have the official drops yet. So these two guys, expect them to be coming. So let's go. Let's go over to Facebook where we have, I have my tabs open so I remember, I can exit out of here. Collector Zone will be getting these later on. Do make sure to pay attention to those emails. You're gonna get 10 to 12% off payment plans and stuff like that from Collector Zone. Now here we are at this site. Let's go over the blurg. The blurg is pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but it's something I didn't expect. Now, what am I happy with the May 4th releases? Not really, because I expected some really exotic drops, like Echo. And Echo was the only one for me that was like the exotic, like, wow, I really did not see that coming. That's 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 a thank you, Hot Toys. The Blurg, the fish with legs. All right. A lot of people love it. This is either a hate or love. And you know what? I'm going to get this regardless because it's a blur, for God's sake. Oh, my God. It's a blur. Hot Toys, you did it. You did the impossible, Hot Toys. You made a freaking blur. I can't believe you did. As you can see, this is going to be articulated. You can move this around and move his arms around. The jaws and mouth wasn't articulated, so you can't move that. Everything else, not. It comes with a cool base, but... um. Man, the Blurg, I'm going to go over the buyer pass in the Mandalorian set and tell you what I'm going to do there. Um, the Blurg reminds me of those old Jurassic Park dinosaur toys that I used to play with when I was young. And it would have the JP symbol. I wanna, you, they should pay a JP symbol on his foot. But this, I want to bash it as much as I can because Hot Toys, you did the impossible and made a freaking Blurg. But I, I'm pretty excited because... You made a blurg. I mean, that it, within itself is kind of crazy because you you made a blurg. I I that's the only thing like I'm getting out of this hot toys like, and you did surprisingly well with the paint apps and and crazy paint apps and it looks just amazing. I mean, the base as you can see right here, it, it's pretty it's pretty badass. It's already a tall thing. I mean, you're talking about like that that blurg is pretty tall. I would say about that big. So Detolf issues, yes, that's why I'm going into Monty. I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm fully going into Monty cases. I, I just, I just can't with the, with the Detolfs. So Blurg, um, that, this is all that what he comes with right here. That's just crazy, Hot Toys. I, I'm gonna give it to you. Let's go over the set for the Blurg. So this is the Mandalorian set with the Blurg. It's pretty cool um, to see that they're doing this. Let me fast forward. This is the original Mando, the OG Mando. We're getting re-released. So you get that Mando, and I think he comes with the extra accessory of a flame thingy coming out of his hand because he did use that on a Blurg. And pretty smart by Hot Toys to incorporate that. I'm pretty sure it didn't come with the original release. So guys who think they can, like, skip out, like, oh, you got this one, but you don't want, you have to get this as a set. If you don't want the Blurg, you're going to have to get the Blurg, and you're going to have to pay the price. So, I mean, it's pretty pricey for the Blurg and, and Mando, so you're going to have to get the Blurg if you want the Mando. Um, uh, luckily, they gave us an option to just get the Blurg alone, which is what I'm going to do. 
So as you can see here, I'm gonna buy the, I'm gonna buy just the blurg. I, I, I have to, it, Hot Toys you made a freaking blurg. As we can see here, we have Quill. Quill was teased, everybody flipped out because of the side boot. The amount of hype that Quill has is amazing because it's just, it's Quill. It's nothing special. It's like, what, what's going on here, you know? But Quill is one of those characters that somehow gained our heart. Oh, I have spoken. Uh, I think it was like Nick Nolte that was his, uh, that was such a rough character, man. They, they really picked a good cast for him. And um, Quill is just one of those characters, you know. He's a he's a what is his breed? I used to know his breed. Ugnuk, Ugluk, Ugnuk, Ugluk is from Lord of the Rings. Sorry, Ug, uh, Ugnot. He's an Ugnot. I think he's an Ugnot, but like a old, really old, dingy, dinky one. But look at this set. I mean, the Blurg. It's a Parana with some feet. I don't know. I don't know why, man. Like, it's entertaining. At the same time, it's. Like, what the... F it's entertaining. I'm going to have to go with it. And I'm going to put Quill. I'm going to put Quill on it and, and, or or something. I don't know. I'm going to put Quill on it, I think. And then I'm going to have, like, Mando leading him or Mando walking in front of him. It's going to be a cool-looking diorama set because of Detol... Or not Detolves. Sorry, Detolves. You're going to go. But because of um, Manchi Cases coming in. So that's, that's, that's a beauty right there. Um... Look at all this re-release of the OG Mando. There's people already posting them up in the forums, <laughs> trying to beat the hype. They're trying to beat the hype and uh, try to get them sold at a high price so that they can get this later on, basically paying half of it off. So that's a must buy for the Blurg. OG Mando, it's your your choice because if you have it or not, it depends on you. I already have my OG Mando, so you just get the Blurg, right? And it's great that they offered just that. Stormtrooper Commander. So this is a beauty. This is a beauty coming for us. Um, it never gets old when it comes to troopers. Um, I love them. And not, once again, we have big side boob tees. We have side boob tees in uh, the Blurg with Quill. We have side boob tees in, 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 in the Bad Batch with, um, I forgot his name. Uh, Echo had his dude behind him. And then here we have the Stormtrooper Commander, which, where are you? There he is, the Mortar Trooper. He's teased up in here. So that's cool. I mean, that's just amazing. I love these teases going on. I wish we would have gotten him first, though. I, I, I really wish we would have gotten him first. Um, obviously, these are Rogue One designs being used from the scene where Boba Fett annihilates their asses. And uh, Mandalorian gets his uh, shit blown up. The Star Crest just... <laughs> Razor Crest. Star Crest. Razor Crest just goes obliterated, and and Dark Troopers and poop and everything comes down on him. And Grogu gets taken away. Now, this is a Hot Toys exclusive. I'm not sure if this is going to be Sideshow exclusive as well or something, or, or a Hong Kong exclusive. Regardless of whatever exclusives it is, keep checking with um, Collector Zone. He will have them. Let me update his website. Let me see if it's any anything added. Not yet, but he's a busy man, so give him some time. Here we're back on Facebook. And what a beautiful figure. Now, look, this is what I'm talking about. This is retailing at 220 This is what I'm talking about, guys. October 2021, this fall. Look at the weathering. It's not that washed over weathering anymore. It's particular. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's scratches. It's, it's, it's like, it's stuff that's real world. It's not that overwash that we were getting from the matte finish and, and soft feel of the of, of, uh, troopers like that shock trooper behind me or the Jump Trooper, or sh Sand Trooper. Um, I love that they're doing this kind of weathering. This is more realistic. I love that. I love, love, love that. And the base, of course, we've been same same Tatooine base as 29, 2016. We're still getting it in 2021. Um, they need to do something about these bases. Change it up, Hot Toys. We have enough people complaining about them. It's not that it's a bad thing. It's not that we're complaining, really. It's more so we need a little change up. And I'm sure when you change it, we're going to hate that one, too. So just keep it that keep that in mind. So we're going to keep going here. We have an original trooper look, which let me get into this. This a lot of people are saying, hey, when are we going to get the Rogue One trooper? Let me tell you something. Take his pauldron off. Boom. Regular Rogue One trooper. Go at it. Go crazy. I just... 
your brains are exposed to the world now. Feed off of me, guys. Feed off of me. Use your brain. Buy two of them. Take the pauldron off. Boom. Regular Rogue One uh, Trooper. I know this is a little bit... This is the different one. This is obviously you have different weathering. It's going to be almost the same. But splash some paint on it. Do whatever you want with it. You have a regular Rogue One Trooper if you're really wanting one that bad. So there's that. All right, this guy is having a hard time. This guy doesn't obviously doesn't care, and he's going to shoot it straight at his bum hole, right up the butt. That's how he likes it. This is a commander. He likes it in style. So obviously, this is a regular stormtrooper. You can't get any better than this. It's just a regular stormtrooper, well priced at a, a, a freaking badass like little pauldron. Is that pauldron is what makes him cool? I mean, from any other guys except for this guy. This guy's stupid yellow, and the incinerated trooper which I'm looking at right now, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking incinerator trooper. So this is going to be absolutely sick. I love it. Um, we have almost the same type of weathering, a little bit more weathering, I want to say, on this. Wow, the scratches are even the same on that guy. Really? Let me, let me check real quick. Really, Hot Toys, you just painted it yellow. So the, what it looks to be is that this is the incinerated trooper and they changed the color like in photoshop to yellow because it has the same go look at it you guys don't believe me look at your collection right now it has the same exact markings on his armor so i'm thinking this is the incinerated trooper and they just changed the, the photoshop thing to yellow so so i mean it's there hot toys it's there okay sure so go over there and die. Okay, gonna do it. I mean, this is a must buy for us. We love this figure. Look at this. Oh my god, that's that's commanding right there. <sighs> Calm down easy. It's green tea. But look at oh my god, look at that weathering. It's beautiful. This looks so good. And thank you. Using a gray background, hot toys like me. I wonder where'd you get that from? Gray brings out contrast and color and beauty beauty and all kinds of stuff. So um, look at all this. Nice fake background and stuff like that. This is a must buy. Let's go to what it comes with. Where you at? So what it comes with, hands and a blaster. Two blasters. So you can buy two of these and have variants. Um, a little bit of a green grassy base. It's like, eh. I'm going to get... It's better just to get a card topper. Um, from Metamorphic Customs rather than dealing with these. Uh, I'll just get a topper. Um, basically pop this off and get that topper. So that's a must buy. Obviously, we're, we're, we're done with that. That's a must. What is that? <laughs> Wallet battle damage version. I like it. Really, our wallets are getting killed here. But more, a little bit of Kylo Ren. So that's what Hot Toys have done for us on May the 4th. We are getting more Um. I'm pretty sure we're going to get more. Here you can see Luke, Baby Yoda, and R2. Is that a tease, Dante? Don't don't lie to your fans. I'm just kidding. Is that a tease that we're going to get, you know, the one six scale set of Luke, R2, and Baby Yoda? You know, that is a thing. That is a thing. Who knows? We might get it still. We still have Mando. Um, let's see if anybody updated their th stuff. I don't think much is happening uh, yet, but let me bring you to XM Studios. What I do think is these are one fourth scale, and where I'm not familiar with this, Darth Malak, I forgot who Malak was, but we do have Revan, and I hope these are one fourth scale. Let me see if people are, are saying XM Studios is. They're amazing. Uh, I miss their releases all the time because I, I don't know why. I don't know how. And uh, as soon as I see a figure I, or statue I want, I miss it. So we do have Darth Revan and Darth Malak. It looks like they have a little collectible set duo here. Um, this is one to keep an eye on. They are pretty expensive, but worth it. Revan, I hope, is one fourth scale because I may be picking Revan up. He is a badass planet figure sorry or er, statue good lord um let's see an in instagram do we have anything going on over here 
Ta 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 ta. Oh my God, Cavill one, one six Solana. What are you doing? But um, let's see if anything happens. All my guys I follow. What's going on over at Sideshow? Let me refresh the page. Anything else I need to go over? So, I mean, that that pretty much wraps up whatever we have released. Now, speculation says a couple more. Speculation will tell us a couple more coming. Obviously, we have Quill and Mandalorian swoop bike to be revealed as far as photos go. We did have the swoop bike, but we didn't have his head sculpt, and I believe it's in this set. And uh, that's why I already sold off my Deluxe Mando, because I knew this was coming. And I knew this was going to be a good one. So that's why I already sold that off. But everything else, let me go over and say buy, pass, buy, pass, buy, 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 pass. Pass. So that's my thing. May the 4th this year. Let me go over some stuff while I, while I talk. Um, May the 4th this year was not what I expected. It was not, you know, um, what I thought was going to be crazy or anything. Let me do this real quick. Let me enlarge my size. But um, May the 4th wasn't too crazy for me this year. I, I would have to admit, it wasn't out of my mind, mind-blowing. When I did see Echo, this was out of my mind, mind-blowing, because prequel stuff is... But Mandalorian, it's like we could have got those as regular releases and had, you know, other stuff like Pyrrhical. I was wanting Kit Fisto, Mace Windu, Padme, the droids, the B2 battle droid, stuff like that. And we didn't get it, which is okay because we will get them. But for May the 4th, I think they should have gone a little bit special, more so towards exotic figures like Echo, um, Arc Troopers. Commander Fox, um, yeah, I'm saying a bit too many clones, but like Kit Fisto, the, the Jedi Council, something, you know, something that's like, what the hell? Kind of like the Blurg, but not the Blurg, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's a bittersweet symphony watching Hot Toys drop releases like this. It's like, I love it, but not for May the 4th. I, I would have expected something else. So, with that being said, like I said, I love the teases behind him, as you can see, his buddy right there. I love that oh, Rambo-looking dude. Um, but, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, 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 I'm getting most of, like, 75% of the figures released. So, that's cool. But I wish, uh, whoa, 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 Hot Toys would have done a little bit more of a fan service rather than... You know, doing re-releases, re-releases and reissues, which was like Baby Yoda set with Mando and stuff. It's like reissues. That's the easy part, Hot Toys. Um, but nonetheless, we got some figures. So, hey, that's my buyer pass. Um, make sure you join the Cantina and go for them codes because they're going to be dumping out. Um, hope everyone enjoyed the show. I hope I covered everything that everybody on my channel likes. Um, let's go back to Sideshow, see if they dropped anything new. I hope I covered everything that everybody likes because they, they're, they're, they're dishing them out. So, um, man, I have to tell you, that's, that's going to be the cool parts. Uh, seeing, like, Kit Fisto and stuff. But Anyway, hope what you like here on Easy Company Collectible. Like the videos. Liking these videos help. So do that and subscribe, subscribe for everything. Thirdly!